Welcome back. We do have that second map between Heroic for, uh, versus FaZe Clan up for you now on Dust2. It's FaZe's pick. They're looking fiery, Harry. They're looking ready to go. And so are we, jumping straight into the pissed round here for Dust2. Yeah, it's April and we fooled you uh, because, you know, now we're live, for real. And we're into this one, the second map underway. And early on, FaZe is going to be turning their attention down through Catwalk. The Xbox smoke is down, so they will be allowed to cross into this position. Flashes Ooh. over and into mid, and Blame F will go unchecked. Adran able to get the trade. It's S tag in with a quick double to keep things in the advantage of Heroic in this pistol round. Yeah, FaZe fake the cat play, but they don't check close mid, and it comes back to bite them. Guardian needs a kill, but there's two players on this B bomb site, and again, they don't check the corner. FaZe. Falling down to just one man now. It's Olaf Meister in a one on three to pick up this pistol. Now he might be able to get onto the A site here because no one's there. Freiburg is only just getting through the CT spawn now. And so Olaf should be able to beat him to the site. Freiburg would rather re wait and set up for retake rather than give away a 1v1 to Olaf Meister and allow this to get a little bit too close for comfort. So Bonplant going down safely to avoid the jump. And now he's going to get aggressive, but too many CTs there. And Freiburg finds a headshot. Heroic, they take the pistol. Yeah, and already some uh, some promising signs from the likes of S Tag. He's able to mop up that mid push pretty nicely. The scary thing is now, Harry, is FaZe got a bomb plant. They can buy up rifles. They get a couple of naughty little AKs here and uh, and try and win the second round. Something that they've been able to do versus Heroic already. So odds on Betway, whew, they're looking pretty good for FaZe, or maybe pretty bad for FaZe if you're looking to make some money there. Oh, and we do see the force by yeah. Hugo. You are bang on. That's going to get bought out early. Nico. I was going to say, yeah, uh, yet to invest, but he will. So the uh, the buy over on either side looks pretty good heading into this round. FaZe turned their attention towards the long doors early on. And once these rifles start firing down range, the call will come through that they've oh. been bought up. But Freiburg is already bested in through the long doors. This portion of the map taken, but okay. See ya. <laughs> They're able to deal with Olaf down in mid. It's the four-man walk up through long. Now that flash is actually perfect, blinding everyone. Mert still holding close, trying to land a bit of chip damage, but Adren does get past, and that leads to Blame F's demise. Mert's hopping around. In with his second kill of the round, looking like maybe he wanted to even try to assemble a boost, and this could be Mertz looking to try and be the hero here. He has to be now in the 1v3, but jump shotting is only going to get him so far. That will be FaZe stealing that second round back. That was two years... Heroic ever, ever won like an anti-eco? I, I want to say I, no. I don't think they have. I, I can't recall Heroic converting a pistol at all. Or, yeah. I, I think that's probably consistent here, Harry. Not a good way to start. And especially, do you remember, Heroic are here without Peacemaker. Visa issues denied the coach of Heroic to uh, attend this event, sadly. And, I mean, that's going to make all the difference when it comes down to these pauses, Harry, and knowing, you know, how to have impact or, or inputs, rather, in the downtime for Heroic, maybe fixing these issues. They'll have to wait till after the games for that now. They won't find too much, but FaZe do find short, aggressively so. Three players up the catwalk. The thing that's so scary about that round, though, is Heroic. That wasn't even like it was just SMGs across the board, right? They fully invested rifles on almost yeah. every player. They knew it was coming. And the reason why that's important, though, right, is now you look at the money here. They've had to force buy in this round. But usually, you know, you're so used to seeing in these force buys, you have some Ds, you've got some armor behind them. They don't have that luxury because the money just wasn't there for it. So it is just Eagles out for Heroic. And they've already lost Mertz early on in this round. So FaZe... Looking poised and pretty comfortable to secure the 2-1 lead here. Yeah, Bomb can go down as well. They've got the A site, the short plant as well. It's just safety insurance considering five players of phase from the site to short. No one else split up. This is going to make things impossible for Heroic to retake, to be frank. And it's all about getting those exits, finding damage, trying to save guns from phase clan players, or at least take them out of their hands. More so looking to the future than the present. But FaZe, they've got a gift of their own, and it keeps on giving. Another round on this T side. Very wary of these close positions. They know Freiburg was on long earlier on. Now, Stan's going to try and fight middle here with his Deagle. He 
He does find one. Guardian's dead. S tag as well. Another shot. Freiburg hits a deep. Out of nowhere, we go from a five on four to a two on one. Rain does manage to catch a couple of kills on the exit, but that was five rifles for FaZe turned into two in the blink of an eye. So that's really good damage from Heroic. Yes, they lose the round, but it's not one that they heavily invested in. As you said, Harry, no armor. So another eco here and the chance for FaZe to make back the money that they lost in that previous round and get themselves up to three on this T side. Oh dear. Guardians spot anyone on the cross, so look at Olaf. Only now, just seeing Blame eventually attempt that cross. Olaf is in the bomb site. He is at car right now, and he surely knows that Blame is there. Spots the barrel. Doesn't commit to fighting because he doesn't want to give away the fact that he's taken B. Would rather wait for the bomb to come and join him while FaZe takes the attention of Heroic down mid. Nice one, Deeg, from Blame F, but yeah, I mean, it's not going to transpire into anything here. The bomb down inside of B. Freiburg wants to try and cling onto this AK if he can. So he'll just look to hold onto that. Maybe even deals with Guardian all the way back to T-Spawn here. That'd be an AWP retrieved if he's able to do it. But no, Guardian wins that fight. So everybody dies over on the side of Heroic. Only one man falling on the FaZe Clan side of things. Money is no object now to this FaZe roster. And that shows the value of that CT cr mid cross smoke, right? Because without that, Guardian just holds mid. He sees no no players cross. Olaf, who I imagine was just going to hold on to tunnels for the start of the round, goes, okay, no one's B. Free bomb site, walks in, doesn't give away his position, takes the round, and there you go. You know how hard retaking B is. So, yeah, if Heroic... Uh, <laughs> Need to be careful either having a crossing player mid or throwing that smoke down to elude FaZe's information. For now, it's heavy on long with three rifles. FaZe are fast into middle. They only spotted one player on the cross and they want to hit mid to B. Yeah, no cross smoke once again. So they know that right now it is just Blame F inside of this B bomb. Oh, sorry, Starvin inside of the B bomb set alone. And so while they've got him here in effectively what would be a 1v5 push, they're pretty keen to try and exploit that fact. Now I'm going to be looking into tunnels. I have to see a tremendous individual effort from this man. The rest of the FaZe Clan boys trying oh. to secure control of mid. And Olaf dispatches of the lone B player. S-Tag is good to retrieve one. But the second he does, Guardian is in with a response. Man advantage maintained here for FaZe. And if you're, uh, if you're heroic, you're definitely considering the save at this point. And if S-Tag falls, which he will... That is pretty much guaranteed. Mertz and Freiburg so far removed from this B bomb site. We'll just look to hold on to this AWP and M4. But you can already see Olaf. He knows his team's money is in good standing. Ooh. He's hungry to try and take some of these guns away. We'll find the first. Not quite ready for Mertz, however. So this AWP still standing a chance of being maintained into the next round for the Danes. Guardian's got to be careful, though. Not worth giving away your own AWP for this kill. And FaZe are so hungry for it. Look, they know they've got him trapped. Utility on Guardian should be able to set Adren up for this kill as well if they do so choose to throw it in. Mertz is oh, very cleverly moved around the box. He heard Adren flank right side, and even though he doesn't know Guardian's coming from the back line, the timing will elude Guardian. The AWP is saved for Mertz. That's one factor there for Heroic, but still a, a dominant start for FaZe Clan, as we would imagine on their map pick. 4-1 up on the T side, and the T side, Harry, I think that's a talking point as well. This is where FaZe absolutely rinsed Heroic back on overpass. It was pretty equal when FaZe were on the CT side, even though they were 9-6 you know, up. But on the T side, they really didn't let Heroic get even around until FaZe were up to 14, so... Certainly doesn't spell anything good here for Heroic on the CT side of Dust 2. I feel like they've had pistols more than rifles. And the reason why you feel like that is just because it's, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Mertz here at long, not quite able to connect onto the uh, the one man there. And in response to this phase, now they've spotted the whereabouts of this solitary orb on the back of Mertz. So they know that he was just over towards this long side of the map, and this could just be the B commitment once again from FaZe. Olaf still over here towards this side of the map. He's going to lose his fight. He's not able to remove him. They try and retrieve oh. this gun, and that's the bomb dropped. S-Tag will get silenced by a Dren. It's Nico now sneaking up through mid, looking to try and solidify this round. These rotations still coming through, and they just have to deal with down inside of this bomb site alone. But Rain's what? been dropped. They don't know he's here. 
They are very confused. Nico was checking the back of the site because he, he knew there was a B player somewhere, but no idea this town had played the outside of the window, swapped back round from the door. Mertz gets caught scoping in the tunnels. This is still winnable for FaZe. They are very low, though. Surely Heroic can put things together and retake this round. They're not even going to go for the plant. Flash to middle. Adrain gets aggressive, but he can't find the shot. It's a crossfire. Blame F drops one. And now Nico, he's silenced, caught and trapped inside this B bomb site. Yeah, stellar recovery from Heroic. Not a round that they ever should have been able yeah. to pick up. Just the one AWP on Mertz heading into it and some armor behind Stown with that Deagle. But they're able to find it. That becomes one of the most convincing round wins that we've seen Heroic pick up thus far. I mean, they've only got two of them, so you don't really spoil the <laughs> choice, but... A big round nonetheless, and now for, for FaZe, this is where not only you know losing that round that they shouldn't have, but you see the ramifications of hunting Mertz down so mercilessly in the round prior. The fact that they Ooh. threw so many bodies at it means the money just isn't there for FaZe anymore. They don't have that crux to fall back on. And it's this four-man hold still for Heroic over towards this A side of the map that is kind of an undiscovered danger on the FaZe clan side of things. Ooh. Nice bit of tag damage through the wall, but S tag doesn't know how many players are here. FaZe have crossed up Catwalk and Heroic have not got anyone watching it. Now we have Mertz on the AWP. He can switch back to the car on this A site, and I'm sure he won once the smoke is faded. But right now, focused on the door alongside Freiburg. His teammate now climbing up from the site from CT spawn. That's blame. And FaZe have taken Cat, ready to go for this A executed team's great double nade, does a hell of a lot of damage. Guardian on 12, Rain on 40. Faye's going to set up for a mid to B. Or at least the smokes to do so. This bomb's still up the catwalk, though, and they're trying to draw rotations from the heroic camp before they execute on A. Now this push coming in. Blame on the other side of it. Needs support from Mertz with that AWP, and there's the first kill tallied up. Blame flashed in. Freiburg going to be helping out all the way back from long and facilitating these kills to come through. They can't deal with Blame as he's lighting up the server right now. Finally going to get silenced by Olaf, who has been given this one-on-one -on -one onto S-Tag. Mertz able to trade things out nice and quickly. Had Freiburg nearby if needed as well. So for Olaf, that was a very tall order indeed. And so now for FaZe, as I kind of touched upon at the beginning of that last round, it was a pretty must-win one for this T-side, as now the money is run out. It's just got to be the eco here from the international squad. And a lot of this now comes back, Harry, to that third round where Heroic had Deagles and they took three guns away from FaZe when FaZe had a full 5-on-5 five five AK post-plant. Money is dry for FaZe. they'll have to take an eco, so Heroic, this is their chance to build confidence and get into this game in a big way. Great nade, good damage early on. Blame's going to finish off this frag, and he does find three. Freiburg's still here on long to solidify the round. Nico will get no further after that kill. And four to Heroic here on the CT side. They now equal up with FaZe. The AWP is back in for Guardian, and I'm excited for him versus Mertz now. Mertz has been doing a good job of holding off this catwalk on the A splits. Yeah, we saw Heroic tie Overpass up 4-4 four to four early on as well, right? It was a similar story there. We, we know how that ended. So now Heroic, they really do need to keep building upon this momentum that they've picked up. Promising signs to look to, though, is that we have Blame F with some great performances. S-Tag and Mertz around him this Ooh. time. And Freiburg just going to miss the timing. Oh. Nico gets out and past him. So Freiburg going to be kicking himself there as he gives them an advantage the way of phase over towards this long portion. But look at this rotation from Heroic. They've put all their eggs into one basket here. All four players grouped up on the A side of things. Rain get a full prey to Mertz up on the catwalk. That was the one B lurk dropped. So FaZe might never even get the information that this B side of things is ripe for the taking. Instead, it will just look like the A commitment right now. Smoke on Guardian and Nico to facilitate this cross. Molotov can look to go in to try and force S-Tag out of position and give a duel the way of these long players. Nico going to be the first man in, and he'll decapitate S-Tag before Stown is good for the trade. Blame F holding the cross, and the bomb has dropped through it. That is a disaster for FaZe. It now falls to a dreaded Guardian, but they have pulled it back into this two-on-two. -two. There's no utility left, though, and uh, Heroic is still giving them fights. Mertz is down to 20. He's got to rotate. Blame picked up in the spawn, and Mertz 
That hesitation might just cost him. He needs to try and stop this bomb from being retrieved and it is in his sights, but so is Guardian who will win that duel. Bailing phase out of the 2v2 with a couple of kills and great entry from Nico as well to get them onto the bomb site. 5-4 for FaZe Clan, a really well-read stack from Heroic, and I was scared that they were going to rotate off the back of that kill that Mertz got on Catwalk. He killed Rain in lower tunnels facing towards B. Glad he realized that that was just a lurk from FaZe and not a rotational commitment. Still won't make a difference. Five rounds to this T side. Heroic with another buy up their sleeve, but it will be their last unless they win this round. And FaZe are keeping the pace rampant, straight up short. Immediately, four players on this long position for Heroic. Quite the setup, but Rain doesn't care. He sprays one, Nico taps two, and just like that, phase are over this A site. Yeah, Moff Freiburg still over here towards long. This is not a round Heroic corner attempt any day of the week. Oh, okay. S Tag finds that one kill, and now they maybe seem a bit tempted to try and go for something. The issue is Freiburg gets spotted and. If he's not able to win this fight versus a Dread, s -tag, yeah, he's not budging. He's not leaving B. He doesn't have faith in Freiburg. But uh, he's going to keep testing this. He's going to keep pushing in. Oh, oh. Cool. Don't oh. even get time to react when you're facing Nico, do you? That was literally just not fair. Save gun for S Tag. Should be able to keep it, although Nico's on the hunt. He's going to make some noise. We will see a gunfight here, and it's going to favor S Tag. Nico ran with his back turned. Scared of the spawn, but still high hopes for FaZe and high spirits as well. Adren's got his face in his shirt, but everyone else is laughing away. Yeah, I mean, you've heard a head in your hands. Welcome to face in the shirt. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's good or bad or what, but. You imagine good, given that they're sitting 6-4 up. I don't think they're too worried, regardless. Rook could test them early on, but FaZe have come up with a you know, good grade. So once again, long control going to be taken here by FaZe, and now they can look to set Guardian up down in the pit. That is what they're going to do. And just having a man here with the AWP, no less that it's Guardian, it, it is a real terrifying thing to try and contend with if you are heroic. Obviously, they've just got this one hero AK on S-Tag. Phase of throwing these cross smokes just off the bat a lot of times and had a lot of gaps, Harry. They've not been throwing set smokes, just kind of doing them on the fly, one deep, one close, but this gap could give heroic an avenue back into this round. They've already got a pick, they got a five on four, and Phase they want to bail. Yeah, with that kill on Emerts over at short, that might change their mind, though. Nico looking to draw attention away from this A play. Now you can see in the back of Heroic's mind, they're aware that this B commitment could still come through from FaZe. Nico going to find another. Freiburg Ooh. with the P250, though, might have made an interesting round of this one. Heroic now with Stout and Blame F remaining. 2 on 2 will be required here from the two younger guns on this heroic squad and blame f gonna get silenced now stown with this ak a 1v2 required down in ct adren has the bomb on his back but he's trapped at long and with no smoke to fall it's got to be the double peak they spot stown they know that he's in ct and now the bomb gets into the bomb site as well a massive clutch required here from the uh, the youngster on heroic he has both players falling Ooh. off to long, but he catches that first timing. Doesn't have armor behind this AK, but with Nico being brought down to so low, he could definitely look to take this fight, and Stown's going to do it. The 1v2 and Heroic, they're going to salvage around with just one AK to their name. They've managed a fifth, and they've taken this eco round. The consistency with which they've been able to do this is pretty terrifying, and that will be their fifth on the board. FaZe are in hot water now because the money is is not looking great over on this T side. Yeah, huge play from Freiburg as well. Stown, they're getting three kills with the P250. I mean, these, these long smokes for FaZe have now actually come back to bite them. It's nearly been a problem in other rounds where Mertz has like been peering through it with the scout on that jump shot round, but... That time, yeah, the long smokes do cause FaZe to lose a man advantage early on. And from that point, it just kind of falls apart with Freiburg getting a lot of damage done. So FaZe kicking themselves, I imagine, after that round. And a quick pause as well, probably to just discuss that.
not a round that you really should be losing. But yeah, as you say, Harry, it's insane the amount of pistol wins that Heroic are picking up. They can't seem to do rifle rounds, but give them a couple of deagles and they're certainly going to make your day frustrating. It's now FaZe on the back foot and they've got no guns. Yeah, so this is a, a real shot for Heroic to tie things up early on over on their CT side. And, you know, coming into this after we saw how overpass went down, I thought we would have just seen FaZe run over the Heroic guys on this T half, but that has been far from the case. Early on, Rain just aggressing down through mid, and it's the blistering pace he's setting that could catch this boost off guard. Blame F is going to spot it. Dismantling the boost, Guardian landing a little bit of damage there in through the double doors. Nothing ready to write home about on either side of this just yet, but mid control will be taken by FaZe. It's heroic, just give this portion of the map over. One man B set up here and no utility on Stown to defend it. He might need some help. Three smoke in middle will slow phase down who want to split this site with a bomb in middle. That's a bit of a risk. If they get the entry but lose the bomb, that would be a huge mistake. But they won't even get into the site. It's down with three. Blame locks down middle by dropping Olaf. And Nico, he's had enough. He's gone back towards Cat. So great shutdown from Stown on that B bomb site. Not letting the pistols overwhelm him despite being alone. Merch should hit this shot. But Nico forces the bait. Trying to wait for the re-peak. Mertz will give it to him, but oh, you got to be careful here. Nico is so good with his deagle. Luckily enough, Freiburg has swooped in to save. And Heroic, as you say, equalizing things. Six and six. More money for FaZe, though. This is a very good B spot as well for the FaZe Clan guys. <laughs> I mean, this is a B rush if you've ever seen one, but they're not going to look to play on the back of it. Instead, just sending Olaf, the uh, the B most player, over towards that side of the map. Once again, very active in their attempt to get out into middle. And they've been betrayed, not checking this close angle before. They're not going to go through this time around, so we won't get to see S tag highlight reel anytime soon. Cat control taken, and Olaf still making noise over it. B keeps down from the rotation, but it's this four-man stack of heroic over at the A bomb site that really looks to throw some problems the way of phase. At any point, Estag can burst through these doors as well and flank this cat play. There's no mid control for FaZe. They've given it up, but this boost could catch Blame F. The smoke's just fading. And so FaZe want to demand, dismantle, rather. Sleep Guardian up on the catwalk. But actually, fully conceding this position, I don't know if they're just going back to set up a utility or if they'll be giving up with the A split. Surely not with Olaf leaving the B tunnels and Adren being outside long, allowing them to go for this long play. Smoke is over the top for the corner. That's a, a very much failed smoke. I'm not sure if they're trying to big brain heroic with that, but Blame is going to be able to take down a man on catwalk early on. 29 seconds. FaZe are really out of options here. They've just got to go. They've got to run into this bomb site. and Blame has no fear taking the fight. He maybe should have. Guardian's taken him down. 20 seconds now, and FaZe still haven't got this bomb past the corner of Catwalk. Freiburg will kill Adren, and this is just falling apart for FaZe Clan. Mertz only now showing his hand with the AWP, and Guardian's trapped. Olaf tries to bail him out with two shots, but there's just no time. This round's done. And Heroic now find themselves in the driver's seat. An unfamiliar position for this squad, but they will be leading the charge here towards the latter stage of this first half. And yeah, FaZe just slowing right down. And, you know, losing all that momentum that we saw them have on overpass. You know, all the confidence in the world. Finally, this just immediate mid-peak will get punished by Mertz. The dread. Get dealt with here, and yeah, Blame's gonna chain the nade together with his peak. s -tag gets brought down low with the deeg from Nico over in mid. Always the worst when you deeg someone for, ooh, you know, like 99 or something like that, but. Just hit the head. Easy said than done sometimes, as Olaf finds out. 
But a man who is very good with the Deagle is also gone. Mertz has killed Nico. And Heroic have taken an 8-6 lead. This is damn good, Harry. We're talking at 4-4. You know, having, you know, reminiscing back to that overpass map where, okay, same start. There's pistol, the force buy, back and forth, and then phase just slam down the gauntlet. Well, quite the opposite has happened here. Heroic have taken a convincing lead. A couple of eco wins has put them in a powerful position. And FaZe really seem out of answers here. Back to the last round of the half. The AWP is in the hands of Guardian. And we are going to need something pretty fantastic for FaZe to run forward. That secondary orb of S tag gets tagged through the mid doors. And Heroic are going to have to concede long. Olaf has been quick to leave tunnels and he actually gets the first kill on the back of it, swooping in down towards mid. Now Mertz has cleared out middle in the meantime, at least from Catwalk. Won't spot Olaf ducking back into the lower tunnels and that's Stout getting decapitated. Nico in with another and Heroic maybe a bit overzealous on some yeah. of these peaks. Nico, his second kill and Blade. Well, left in this one on five. The nade might find Nico at the very least, but it won't. So a recovery there from FaZe to find themselves another round, scraping a seven to eight half here as uh, it will be Heroic actually winning the half outright. So turning things around from a rather dismal back and forth start, this one now really does become interesting. FaZe's CT side coming up next, and they've got to try and grind their way back into this one if they want to take the 2-0 victory. Heroic looking to try and take us through to that third map. We'll find out if they can after the break. Overpass is feeling like a long distant memory to phase here. It's heroic winning out the half eight to seven as they look to try and propel us onto that third map. Looking to try and split the series one on one. Are the majority Danish squad and uh, phase? They seem to run out of steam a little bit there towards the end of the first half. Now moving into their CT side. 
do they have what it takes to get back in to this map? Now, obviously still a very, very close scoreline, right? You look at this, it's still very much anyone's game. The pistol round could decide a hell of a lot, though. And it will be Stout and Freiburg opening things up. Nico now trying to make his escape from long, but he doesn't get away in time. And this leaves the A bomb site right for the taking. Yeah, these B rotate players trying to come in clutch if a phase, a triple stacked B, and they're going to come to regret that. Mertz with another kill, Guardian through the smoke, and Rain up close as well. But it's a two on four. They need kills immediately. The kit has been picked up, but Mertz is firing off back. Stown drops Rain, and Guardian. Not long for this world either. It's a pistol round for Heroic Harry, but I never want to get ahead of myself with this team in pistol rounds. You do have to remember, they are not great at converting. So, phase in the future, of course, buying up, not only with this scoreline being close, but knowing the consistency of their force by wins. And Heroic, if they can win this, not only would it you know flip things up in the sense of finding being able to convert, but it would put them in a very dominant position to close out phases map pick. Yeah, as we keep on harping on over, though, this has been something that Heroic have been criminally uh, bad at, at, at finding, right? Is these conversions in the anti-eco. This time they're going to be setting up to take control of mid. Rain and a Dren waiting on the other side. A Dren going to be playing anti-flash. They get uh -oh. flashed around and into the short peak. Only Rain gets spotted there. So as they trade him, you could be tempted to go for this peak. A Dren does lie and wait on the other side. Holding back Heroic with his utility right now. Something else to consider for Heroic is that this bomb is dropped all the way back in T-spawn. So we'll have to go get it. Nico. Oh, oh no. Shutting down Blade. I, I can't. I'm... This can't happen again. This oh, cannot no. happen again. And Mertz might deliver us from the madness. As he deals with Nico, re-peak from Adren does yield the man advantage once again for FaZe. It's so back and forth, it's so close, but finally Freiburg might have done enough. He saves the day, and Heroic, they are able to convert a pistol round victory. They take the lead, they're going to move up 10-7, to 7, and now a very good chance they find an 11th round here, because it does likely just have to be the eco from FaZe. You can try and be ballsy, right, and know that you only kept two players alive and maybe stick something into this round, but you really don't want it, right? You don't want to let Heroic build any more of a bank, any more of a lead than they should be allowed to get away with. So it will just be the, the flat eco here from FaZe. And a three-man catwalk boost. Never going to see the light of day, though. You won't find any action as the B player is already arriving from Heroic. Yeah, they're in the bomb site. They've won the round, frankly. FaZe are just looking for exits here. They've already realized this uh, situation as well. I'm going down the site, S-Tag, watching the window up close, and they're going to be dealt with a lot of aggression. These CTs rushing through to their own death. Nico with one, as always, and that'll be it. So FaZe getting manhandled in that eco round, but as you would expect, now they've got guns and the AWP on Nico. Can be dropped over to Guardian, maybe playing off a spawn. We'll see. Nico, not the best long spawn, second best long spawn. So maybe go for the cat boost or even fighting that long corner here. I mean, for Heroic, right, we've seen such a flip-flop in terms of, uh, you know, players on either side of the equation, actually. Ooh, nice shot from Nico to kickstart this round. I was just going to say, you know, you think back to Overpass, we saw some good stuff from the majority of phase, but, you know, the real standout player to mention was, was definitely Rain, who uh, had a hell of a time. Now, he's gotten off to a very slow start here on Dust2. I believe he's sitting with something like four kills to his name right now. Five. But certainly not the stat line you want. This round, man, advantage has been taken. Rain's going to get flashed into short, but isn't able to capitalize on it with that kill. On to Stout. FaZe is trying to keep the pressure up here, not allow Heroic to take any free map control. Short contained. This Molotov from S-Tag is going to keep Rain dedicated on the angle, though he can't fall back, so he's just got to win these fights for the time Ooh. being. And while he does get good damage off, Freiburg is able to deal with the point man over on short. S-Tag's Molly helps out massively with that. And now this A-play, look at it comes through. A Dren inside of the bomb site does have support from Nico over on short. He's playing that drop-down position. The issue is if Mert sneaks underneath the Dren's crosshair here. 
he could pick Nico up over towards short. But FaZe are fine with this. They gave Long up earlier in the round. They knew they were doing this. The issue is S-Tag could sell a fake and cause Adren to rotate at an off timing. Olaf will catch him walking through the smoke. And now Heroic, just desperate play towards A. Bomb dropped. Mertz has to go back and retrieve that. Adren doesn't need to give him a fight. And he won't just jiggling on the site. Finally finishing it off. And he should be able to save that AWP as well. The second Nico got the long pick, you immediately see FaZe's setup change, right? They give up long, they allow Heroic to take control, and then they you know, go for that aggressive cat play where Rain gets sectioned off by the Molotov. He finds one and a half kills from it, and that's a great trade there for FaZe. So, keeping Heroic guessing. And usually, you know, if you get the pick on long, you win that early fight as a CT. As a T, if you if you don't get out through long, you're going to assume that FaZe are going to be playing aggressive and, you know, up close to the long doors, get a player in the pit. But no, FaZe is keeping them on their toes. And Heroic will try and do the same. Lots of utility long, but it's a cat play. He goes here with the AWP, and he's going to get overwhelmed immediately. Rain bailing out his team with two. But the trade is there for Blame, and we're back into a three on two. Very much winnable, and Blame will make it so. Guardian might be able to shut this round down, though. He spots the uh, IGL of Heroic trying to duck back into the bomb site, and this leaves Freiburg in the hot seat. A 1v2 required from the uh, the seasoned veteran of Swedish Counter-Strike here. Over towards mid he oh. goes, and he will uh, clash with the other Swede. He's going to shut down Olaf, leaving himself in the one-on-one -on -one now, and he's wrapping back through long. It's such a mind game, trying to keep Guardian guessing, but I think he might have heard the footsteps. He's positioned himself to try and take this fight, but Freiburg, the 1v2, and Guardian maybe getting a bit overzealous there with the long peak, tries to take advantage of the fact he knows he's got the AWP, right? He could have taken a few duels with Freiburg before he gets close and then maybe swapped out to one of those rifles. But Freiburg surprises him and us by just hitting the immediate shot the first time around. Freiburg has been really, really good. Not necessarily, you know, always topping the charts in the games we've seen here from Heroic, but uh, he always comes up with these huge clutch rounds and, and, and you know, really good, uh, not necessarily entries, but just swing kills to turn it from, you know, five on fours to four on fours. Just trades, refrags, I guess is the term. Keeping this team alive and dragging them forward another round. Heroic now on 12 to 8. Phase flat on this CT side. They need something. And Heroic don't want to give them the room to play with here on map two. Do remember, this is Phase's mapping. This is Dust 2, a map that, that Phase has been really unstoppable on as of late, even just destroying Liquid on it back in Miami just the other day. Rain dropping over 30 kills, but. Uh, different phase in the server right now. Full B stack and uh, a rush from Heroic. We've got three CTs on the other side, but only pistols, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem, and Freiburg won't let it be. Two from him. Guardian, same story, but that's where it falls apart. One on three now for Adren. And while there are low players inside of this bomb site, maybe Whoa. he gets S tag, but no, it stands holding down the angle. A 13th round for Heroic, and this is looking promising to head through to a third map. They are uh, storming ahead here over on their T side half. Very different story to Overpass, and very different story to how many people would have imagined this series ended up. FaZe have got another buy left in the tank, but this could be their. their, their Last real bastion of hope, right? If you lose this round, you're staring down a 14-8 scoreline if you're phased, and no you've money. got no money, right? Yeah. So then you're either force buying to the end of the game or playing for overtime. They almost line up for Guardian down in mid, but it just doesn't come through. S-Tag's able to find the opener here. And this B-play, looking to try and blindside Olaf. He does manage to deal with the first man in, but no other kills materialize for him. And this leaves Nico and Adren two on three. Oh, if, ne if Nico had got the uh, the man crossing into the bomb site there, then this would be a very tantalizing ground indeed. Now 2v3, you could almost justify the save if you're phase. You just don't want to. You know you're the better team and, and you shouldn't be this far down. So phase, they want to try and recover a round? No, they'll grab the orbs and get out. Looking to the future rather than the present and probably a good call to make because Heroic, they've been locking down this T side. Almost flawless, only giving up one round to that of phase in the second half, and it was quite the opposite of what we expected, especially considering back on the previous map, Harry. But, I mean, Heroic did find the majority of their success on overpass on the T side, and hey, it only makes sense for us two to be the same. Phase down 14 to 8, AWP exit, and Bomb almost kills both these Ts, but they'll get away with it. 
And Heroic, they have now got plenty of opportunities to close out this map. It would require something incredible from FaZe to, to make this happen. Well, the double orb they held forward might be the uh, the place to start. The benefit of doing that, right, is those players get the max loss bonus over on the phase clan side of things. So they can drop for the rest of the squad. And that's how we see this fall by come through. So it's actually massive that those weapons were carried forward by the phase clan side. It gives them a fighting chance here to try and deny map point the way of heroic. Double hold once again out towards short between Nico and Rain. And this has been something that's been uh, a bit hit and miss in terms of how much success it's actually been allowed to find. Ooh. Oh, S tag Hello. spots Rain. Eh, maybe doesn't want to go back again. Well, just hold for the yeah. re-aggression. Yeah. <laughs> they gave you an out. They gave him an out, Harry. He shouldn't have, have dipped his foot back in the, the ocean. It's full of sharks. And phase. A lot more bite than bark. Man advantage in this round, and the AWP cannot respond. Rain still wants to continue fighting on the catwalk, and he'll flash his way back in post Molotov. The flash on long will keep one back, but Nico doesn't stop scoping. No, it's trying to get out. I'll force him off with a flashbang, but will they be lulled into a false sense of security? Thinking long is clear. It couldn't be further from the truth. They spot Edren, force him back. Molly from Nico. He needs some uh, some flashbangs over to help Edren. They will come through from the short side, but Edren doesn't commit to the battle. Nico instead making contact. I like that call from FaZe. Now they deal with a pit player, and Nico needs to try and back off because they're being split from short. Yeah, slowly but surely these angles that FaZe can try and hold are getting whittled down, but it's not without a cost to Heroic. They've only got 20 seconds, and Nico dropping the bomb there out from Long really does make this round not feel like a reality. Mertz, 1v4, double smoke down on the cross, but with Nico getting boosted into the bomb site, he's going to shut down the last man at 4 Heroic. And it will be a ninth round salvaged by the FaZe clan side of things. They have to do the full reverse sweep if they want to win this one in regulation. And so a timeout now called in for Heroic, and you definitely understand why. They don't yeah. want to let FaZe build back into this game. You want to keep them on the back foot. Yeah, do not, if you're Heroic, you do not assume that this game is won just yet, Harry. FaZe are the exact kind of team that can uh, the, pull this series back, or not even series, this map back into their favor and, and take it away from you, especially considering, you know, being real, money-wise, there's only three or four buy rounds uh, you're separating these two teams, not even if you include the Ecos that would likely be coming for Heroic. But that said, you know, the more rounds they lose, the more, more money they gain. The Mario Kart effect, somewhat. 14 to nine, Heroic actually decide to buy. And it's uh, pretty poor, but the alternative was a double eco, so. Let's see what they can get done with it. We got the Krieg on Stone. We got the AK on S Tag and a Glil on Freiburg. That'll be it when it comes to rifles. And the utility, that's the big issue, right? It's one thing not having guns. It's another thing not having a way to get yourself out into these bomb sites. Even lacking flashbangs is going to make things very problematic and give, you know, FaZe the engagements and the gunfights that they want. S Tag boosted to watch that smoke push, make sure there's no one crossing left side long, but there is not. FaZe is set up with a triple B here, and the reason being is they know Heroic's economy is on the rock, so a fast B play like this wouldn't be uh, too out of the ordinary. Won't be the case, though. The re-smoke on long, that's going to be annoying to Heroic. They want to aggress, and they're not allowed, and S Tag turns his back right as the drain crosses, so uh, do Heroic check this? I don't know, but they need to, because it could come back to bite. Oh, now Nico timing his rotation in. He's going to throw that incendiary into Ooh, Long. Oh, they hear that. They would have heard the tags. Dren tries to go forward, though, ah. on the back of it. And he's not ready for that boost from S Tag. Now, Nico will get caught by the pace set here, but he still lands the shot. He's trying to duck back into CT, but he might not get there in time just around the corner with seconds to spare. And he's still fighting. He's still taking heads off of Heroic. Very worried though that this push could come in through short and Rain ready to boost Nico back into that bomb site. Blame F gets spotted down in mid. And Nico not quite ready for them to be so close to the uh, the A site. Rain hiding on the other side of this seconds. smoke. And as you say, yeah, time is ticking on down. That bomb plant looking to come through. Rain not in a position to deny it. So Freiburg and Stau now with this crossfire set up. 
and Freiburg able to win his head to head on to Guardian, not quite ready for the fast wrap from Rain. And now it's down, 1v2 required, player wrapping in through short. Will go undetected for the time being. Stan not quite ready for this CT drop, perhaps. Oh. And oh, oh mid-air. What can you even do against that? Nothing is the answer. <laughs> hide, <laughs> hide. Poor Stan there. I really believed in him for a second. He uh, wouldn't be the first clutch he's found in this series already. But not meant to be. What a shot from Olaf. The RNG really paying off here. Bam. I mean, it's not like he even loaded a full mag in. He just shot two bullets and got a kill with it. So, yeah, poor, uh, poor Stown. Ten rounds to phase. Really good round from Heroic. Again, remembering that that was only a couple of rifles and no utility. And phase almost had the read, right? They just kept on silencing them with the utility on long. Now Heroic set up for the B play that FaZe stacked for in the previous round. Now they don't have that stack. It could be an issue, but two players might be enough to deal with these Glocks. Even if a bomb plant goes down, there's no armor here for Heroic. There's no utility for the post plant. It's going to be a bit of a messy one. And FaZe, they're looking to make it rain. Already him getting one in middle. Guardian, leg shot through the smoke. Olaf flashed off. This is good utility. Only one flash for Heroic, but it finds him two kills. And FaZe desperate to try and get a handle back on this round, right? It's gotten very out of hand very quickly. And now Blame F with this AWP does become a bit of a worry Ooh. if you're the side of FaZe. Trying to find something spraying through his raid. Not quite able to connect onto S Tag, who is only on 16 points of health right now. And FaZe are already here. Heroic can't actually get this bomb across with no utility. That's going to be the real problem for them. Flame's actually been allowed to retrieve a smoke from a, uh, you know, from Guardian's body over on Platt. So he's throwing that down, and that now does facilitate this bomb to get across. Oh, no. Oh, no. It can't just be the pistols to secure map point for Heroic. They had nothing more than a couple of solitary PT-50s in this round, and now it is just a Dren and Raid 2v3 retake. Flash going to rain in, and they have to find something on the back of this. Push looking to come through. Nice they do shot. deal with the orb. That was Blame F and a Dren. Quick double, helped out by Rain. FaZe able to get a leash back on the beast that is heroic in that round. And so an 11th salvaged by the skin of their teeth. That was only pistols, Hugo. Yeah. That, that is not comfortable and FaZe know it, you know. They are definitely pulling this comeback. Don't get us wrong, this is getting awfully close, but with rounds like that, you get a brutal reminder of how easy it can be to fall. And Heroic, a huge amount of money off the back of it. Two bomb plants and both Ecos, one of them being a force buy. They got the AWP back in spades, all the utility. This is fine for Heroic. They can run their game plan now, and considering they've been whittling at this economy at FaZe for two rounds, Sets them up for a potential win. They've just got to find this rifle round. A Dread fighting on long, confident that he can beat Mert to the AWP, and he does. The Molly Smoke keeps Freiburg back. There's no trade here in sight for Heroic. They'll charge towards Short instead. Nico's got his AWP on the car, and he's got to defend this alone. Yeah, he's really got his work cut out for him, does Nico. Push coming in, flashed off the Ooh, angle just for a, a second. Still good for one before he gets traded. So he's going to keep the advantage in favor of FaZe here. The bomb looking to go down. It's likely going to be the short plant with a man posted up here, and it will. Freiburg tapping in the digits. Blame F setting up his post plant position over towards short, and he won't get challenged. So that is going to be so valuable to Heroic in this 3v4. Three players grouped up in CT and a Dren over towards long. Freiburg gets the information that there's players aggressing through the CT portion of the map. S tag him with another, and it's Olaf oh, and Raid no. trying to do the impossible, but no. Heroic going to be arriving at map point 15 to 11. One more round to solidify map three and split this series 1-1. One, one. Certainly going above and beyond our expectations right now are Heroic and a phase as a result of that retake versus the pistols coming down to the wire, coming down to that 2v3. They have got nothing to invest here into what could be their last round on Dust 2. On their map pick, Harry, what a game this has been from Heroic. They have really fought tooth and nail, and they are just one round away from doing it, bringing us to Mirage. This cat play that FaZe set up in the second round of this half after losing pistol is once again in act. Flash from Nico. 
does get these players deep into middle and rain. Oh, hello, hello. He is behind enemy lines. He is sneaking up. Mertz, aware of the possibility, will just grab the bomb and go towards long. Rain going to hear that one, though, so he can just hand off this information to his teammates. Doesn't need to give away the fact that he's pushed, because then Heroic would double back towards B. The unstacked sight of two. The issue is, this isn't a great setup for FaZe, right? They, this boost might make all the difference, but having two players in CT for a second could have been dangerous. Heroica creeping up close, though, can set up these smokes and Molotovs, and they can blanket this bomb site with fire and flames. Guardian gets a tag, but he's got to run back. The nade in from Olaf. These T's are all over the bomb site, but so are FaZe. Nico with the one D drops the bomb. Still going to get traded through the smoke, and Mertz will catch the flank as well. This is falling apart for FaZe. One kill away from Heroic to take Dust 2, and it's Olaf Meister to keep it alive. Missed shots. Might just spell his demise. He keeps it going. Two bullets in the mag. Has to back off and get that reload in. And this gives Heroic room to plant. Bomb planted for long as well, so Olaf's problem's really just beginning. Now he has to win this fight versus Mertz, so with Mertz just homing in on this angle, if Olaf slow peaks this, which it looks like he's going to, then he should go down, and he will. 16 to 11, heroic. They split the series, they take us 1-1. Hugo, we're heading through to a third map. This was the one series of the day I really did not have pegged to take it this far. Heroic going above and beyond.